If you are building your first website and you set up multiple stores or multiple blogs, I'm going to walk you through how to fix that and sort it out. For most people, for most websites, they should only have one blog and one store. Sometimes though, people create multiples. And when I talk about multiples, I'm literally talking about tons of them. I've seen websites where they have 70 different blogs created. And I've seen websites with 70 different stores created. You want one store with many products. You want one blog with many articles or white papers or whatever you're showing, case studies, whatever that may be. So let's walk through this. So get into the back end of your site. Just press the escape button on your keyboard. And currently I'm in pages, but right here, just click there. Now, what you're going to see is I have articles, and then I also have blog posts and I'd like to merge those. I'm going to show you how. So that's for the blog setting. You can see this little pen here. And then for the store, I have jewelry and products and I want to merge those because you could create separate categories within a store. You could create separate categories within a blog if you want things to be separated by content. So let us begin. First and foremost, let's do the store. I'm just going to show you jewelry if I click here. You're going to see we have three products here listed out right here. And if I go back, we're going to go to products and you'll see, I think we have about six or seven products here listed in our sample store. What we're going to do is we're going to take all the products from jewelry and put them into products and then give them a category. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on jewelry. So it's not the most user-friendly design because say you have 30 products here and you just want to move five of them, but they're scattered throughout. Well, you'd have to organize them accordingly. So you just have to click on these six little dots or eight little dots here and then you just drag it up. So you'll click on the first one and then hold down shift on your keyboard. Click on the second one or as many as you want to move. Click on move select destination. We only have one other store. There'd be multiple listed, but we only have one. So we're going to move it to products. We're going to click move products. You'll see they're gone from here now. And then we're going to go back, go to products, and you'll see that there are now nine products here before there were seven. And down here are the other two. And you could do that again. Just click on one and highlight as many as you want to move. And then you could hit select all if you want to move all of them. Ideally, again, you can move them all and then hit move. Now, in this case, what we want to do is if you go back, you'll see here there's this products and then there's categories. So we have cups, plates. Now let's make one for jewelry. So what I'll do is I'll go back to all products and I'm going to go to style one. I'm going to hover over these three little dots. Click on that. Click edit. It'll bring up the product editor. And what I'm going to look for is I'm going to scroll down until I see categories. So categories here, I'm going to click add. You'll see that we already have cups and plates, but now we want to add a category and it will be jewelry and then click add. And once that's added, you'll see it's a little checkbox right there. So that is now checked off and I'll hit done. Make sure it shows up right there. Perfect. Done. Save. It will reload the page and you'll now see jewelry is added to this list. And if I go back here, You'll see it here as well. So if I click on jewelry, now you'll see every item within jewelry show up here. And it's worth noting that this is a sample site, but let me drag this down. You'll see here that it says products forward slash jewelry. So if you always check your URL, this is actually a URL you could use. So if you want to separate in the menu, that's the last step in this, you want to add it to the menu. Let's say you want to have shop all and then have a drop down with additional items. Let me show you how to do that. So if I go back, what I'm going to do here is main navigation. I'm going to click, let me actually do it right here where it says add page. I'm going to click this little plus sign. And then at the very bottom, there's this item that says link. So if you click link and here you type in, let's say jewelry, and I'm just going to do shop jewelry. What you could do is you could paste that URL. Just make sure it starts with a forward slash and products jewelry and then click save and now you'll see let me go back to the home page and then i'm going to go to the shop jewelry page you're going to see it's going to take you directly into the store into the jewelry section and you could see all the products here so it's a really user friendly way once you create one store to create separate categories now we're going to do that for a blog post 
Now let's walk through that. So for blog posts, we have blog posts down here and articles. We want to move all the blog posts into articles. So I'm going to click on blog posts and you'll see there are about five here. So I'm going to click on one and do the same thing. Hold down the shift key on the keyboard and highlight the ones I want to move and then go to move. And there's only one destination, so it's articles. So I'll click there, checks it off, move posts. This is now empty, so I could technically delete this. You might want to wait, but I'm going to get rid of it now. So that goes away. And if I go to articles, you'll see now that it has double the posts as before. So all of this is listed here as blog posts. And if you want to separate these by category, well, you go to each one. They're a little bit different, but you'll see there's categories here. So if I click on this one, let me actually click on category one. So you'll see what's listed here. So you'll see category one has these two posts. And if I go back, so the first thing you're going to want to do, you see it says like config pages, all that. We don't want that. If I click this little arrow up, it takes me back to the main like menu. So you're going to see articles, category, and then category one, whatever the name of the category would be that you added, say it's jewelry, that's what would show up there. And so I'm going to highlight that copy and then I could add this as a, or as a link. So I'm going to do jewelry articles click save you're going to see it add to the menu here so you could like reorganize it how you want let me drag it down here all right so if i click on let me go to the home and if i click on jewelry articles you'll see that it takes me directly to this category page. So it is very user-friendly in that way. It makes the process really easy. And ideally you want everything categorized under specific domains and URL slugs. So you start with a domain, whatever your website name is, .com or .co or whatever that may be. And then below that you have sub pages. So you have your homepage, you have about, but then when you get to blog and articles, you then want everything to tail under that so what we had before just a moment ago as you saw was articles category and forward slash category one you don't really want this way over here especially if they're subcategories this helps your site map this helps with seo make sure that google understands everything that your site is listed as and just keeping the user experience clean and simple final note when you're using these categories as pages to design the actual page, you're designing all category pages to have a similar look and feel. So if I click add section here, and let me just do a blank section. Let me show you what this looks like. Let's do our articles, for example. And I'm going to just center that. And I'm going to do a background. Cool. So I'm going to hit save. Okay, so you see here it says our articles, and we're on the category one page. Well, if I go to all articles, let me do that now. You'll see it says all articles again. So now this page, if any category you link to, this is what it'll look like at the top. Same with the store. If we go back to the store. So if we go back to the store, you'll see here it says shop all at the top. Well, if I click cups, it's still going to say shop all and plates. So make sure this is universal for all category pages. You could remove this and not have an intro section, but it feels a little bit blank. And so you could have an intro, you could have sections below it at the bottom as well as you create your page. So here we may do something like shop. Perfect. So when you're on this page, people always know they're on the shop page just by the fact that it says shop at the top of it as they come here. And if we want, we could add something like this. I'm going to finish the video very soon here. I could do this all day. Okay. So down here, you could add a section if you want, say like testimonials. You could add in a section for testimonials. You could have something about FAQ or we do a heading to FAQ and have a few FAQ listed, which is shipping, returns, refunds, all of that process. And so now you have this section down here on all of your pages. So if you hit cups and somebody's like, oh, I really like these cups, but wait, how does it work? Well, you have an FAQ section built into the page here. So it's a really user-friendly experience. Overall, it's not 100% customizable, but it's very simple to start and get people going.